The book of Boy is about a child named Boy. He is a hunchback and goat herder for Sir Jacques, his master and knight. Because of an accident early in his life, Sir Jacques is not able to talk or move. One evening while Boy is out in the field with the goats, a pilgrim walks up and asks for his master. Boy takes him to Sir Jacques. The pilgrim, named Secundus, negotiates with the cook and ends up taking Boy with him to carry his bag. It turns out that Secundus is on a quest for seven relics, the rib, tooth, thumb, shin, dust, skull, and tomb of Saint Peter. Secundus already has the rib in his bag and is on his quest for the tooth. Secundus and Boy camp out in the forest and head to St. Peter's Step for a feast. They go there to protect the shoe of St. Peter from thieves and bring it back to the church where it was originally and obtain the tooth. After getting the tooth, Secundus dismisses Boy, but Boy doesn't know how to get home and pleads to stay. Secundus finally gives in and lets him tag along. There are times when I start a book and have trouble putting it down. The book of Boy is such a book. I began reading it one morning. And by the end of the day, I had it finished. I was engrossed in the characters and action, and I learned things as I was reading that were both unexpected and interesting. This book was different from a lot of other books I've enjoyed. It is set in the holy year of 1350, and most of the historical fiction I've read has not been set that far back in time. Overall the book of boy was great, and I would read it again. I recommend it to everyone who loves books based on historical events. To learn more about who Secundus and Boy are, and what happens to them on their quest to find the relics, read this page-turner.